You know, you're kind of a feedback loop, a feedback loop of reality, right? What you perceive out in the world, you take into yourself and you mix it around a little bit and then you send it back out into the world in, in the form of your creation, whatever that is, right? Now, of course, it mixes with your internal makeup and you can play with it quite a bit there. But essentially, it's the world create recreating itself through you. And so what you observe, the more keen your observational skills are, the, the more you will be able to take in and the more you will be able to play with, okay? This, is, this lesson is about overcoming perceptual rigidity. And what do I mean by that? Well, we often look at a thing, you know, you can see the same thing every day. You could see the same, uh, you could look at your hand and see you, your hand every day and never see it change. But it's changing. And, you know, I mean, your hand wasn't the same five years ago, right? Your hand was very, very different when you were five years old. I'm assuming you're not five years old watching this. <laughs> so, you know, it's been changing the whole time, but we haven't been observing that. How often do you look at your hand? It's right here all the time. But how often do you, do you observe it? And how, how often does it look differently? Because you know what? You can see your hand differently. And I'm going to show you a trick now to show you what I mean. Okay? So for one minute, I want you to look at this in the center of this image that is about to come up on the screen. And when I take that image away, right when I take that image away, I want you to look at your hand again. Okay, are you ready? All right, the image is going to come up now. Now look at your hand. Wow, you see that? Look at how different that is. See, you can train yourself to actually see things differently. That's your eyes. Don't think that this is just a random trick that doesn't mean anything. This is profound. This means something very deep that perception is subjective and you can observe the world in so many different ways and you can observe the world in a way which is unique to you. How many people in the world right now 
can look at their hand and see what you've just seen. Not too many, I bet. But you create art out of that, and it's going to be not only just different. It's not about creating just different art. It's about creating art that comes from something true. And what's more true than your observation at the end of the day, right? What you want is you want to create something that shows other people how you see the world, right? Or whatever it is that, you know, it doesn't, I'm not necessarily just talking about art. Of course, it can be a company. Whatever it is that you're doing, it reflects something deep inside of you. And so the more that you observe about the world and about yourself, okay, also about yourself, the more you have to give. That's what observation is about. So I highly urge you to harness those observation skills, refine your observational skills in life. Because again, it's habitual. All of these lessons on lifelong practices, they're about creating the habits in your life so that it comes naturally through, it shines naturally through in your creative work. That's what this is about. So the observational skills, right? Have a, just, you can sit for, for 20 minutes looking at a flower. You can sit for half an hour looking at a bug crawling up a tree. See what it does. Or you can listen to the waves for an hour. You can, you can smell the ocean while, while you're there, right? Observe how your tongue feels when you eat your dinner. You, there's so much available for you to observe throughout every second of the day. So if you get into the practice of observation on a daily basis, I promise you, that you will have so much more to give, that it will be pouring out of you, your art. All right? Let me show you one more thing that illustrates how, how little that we actually see as human beings, okay? So I'm going to show you an image on the screen now. Now, I actually got this from a great book that I recommend called Incognito. And this little activity you may have to adapt depending on whether you are using a laptop or a mobile device at the moment, but you'll be able to get it at some point either way. What I'd like you to do is close your left eye and Look with your right eye on the plus sign. And as you do that, slowly move closer or farther away from the screen until the black dot completely disappears. Now, this will probably happen when you are about one foot away. So again, I don't know what device you are using, so you, it may be uh, longer than that or shorter than that, but have a play with it and you will see that somewhere that black dot disappears as you have your left eye closed and your right eye looking at the plus sign. And this isn't just a random little trick. If it's happened to you, you might feel <laughs> a little shock. You might feel a little bit like, wow, that's, that's scary. Because 
what you've done is you've discovered your blind spot. We all have a huge blind spot in our vision. And you can do the same actually with your with your other eye and look in the other direction. And what this shows us, what this demonstrates to us is that we do not see everything contrary to our own opinion there is a lot that we miss even when we are looking straight at it and this goes with all senses i mean just the very fact that right now surrounding you is a bunch of energy for Wi-Fi connections and all the other uh, all the other invisible kind of gamma rays and x rays and infrared all, all of that stuff completely invisible to you and on top of that you have this this huge blind spot in your vision so the more you can train to observe anything possible, the better. And I'm sending you a link also to a video which further complements this lesson. It's not my own video. You'll see. Just uh, It's only like two minutes long. If you click on it, have a look, and I promise you, you'll learn something new. All right, keep observing my friend and I'll see you in the next video.